Now, some people are calling for change in the way restaurant workers are being paid. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Evan Forrester. After a year of closures and restrictions, today restaurant workers and some state leaders are, trying, are rallying to raise the minimum wage as they say tips alone just don't cut it. Fox 43's Jamie Bittner has more from York County with what both servers and restaurant owners are saying about it. Off York Street in Hanover is the sound of a business taking shape. What will soon become McAllister's on York and Bar 11, with a rooftop sure to entertain. We're looking possibly the end of June, beginning of July, depending on uh, hiring employees. Hiring isn't what it used to be. The owners here are the same ones behind the handsome cab in York. They've spent the last year pivoting through shutdowns and federal and state guidelines. It's been difficult obtaining employees. I think everybody's going through this, being short-staffed. $2.83 tipped wage is simply not enough to live on. The state's Department of Labor and Industry is now calling to raise that tip wage to meet the state's minimum wage, which right now is $7.25, and to raise the minimum wage to at least $12 with a push to make it 15 in the future. We as restaurant workers are considered essential workers, but we're not treated or paid like essential workers. Some people are doing the math to show just how much more they would have earned. Others say an increased wage would help stop things like sexual harassment, discrimination, and sexism on the job. Those paid a sub-minimum wage are more likely to tolerate inappropriate behavior from their guests and for management. Our employees do want to work. These restaurant owners say they normally pay more than the tip wage already. But after a year of closures, they say a higher minimum wage could result in higher costs all around to make sure everyone can get paid more. I think the general public needs to understand that our food costs have gone up. We've gone through a terrible year in the restaurant industry. And there is no way that we can keep prices in the 20 and $30 entree range. You know, you're going to see 40 and $50 in order to accommodate that. As they look to a more successful future to come. People are coming out. The vaccination level has helped so much. In Hanover, York County, Jamie Bittner, Fox 43 News.